Hey everyone, Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video demonstration, I just wanted to show how to use the members only download button. Um, the way it works essentially is you provide a digital product on your website, and when a non logged in user or somebody without the right amount of credentials tries to access that product, there will be an add to cart or a buy now button for them. And on the same page, uh, if a user is logged in, and they have the proper privileges, then they'll see a, a download button instead. Okay, so let's set that up here. And um, first thing we want to do is, of course, get this this add-on. Uh, it's for paid members of the WPE Store and WPE Member um, plugins. So once you have those, you can log in, and then um, in the add-on download area, you can get this add-on here. And right under WPE store you'll see a menu option members only button so the first we're just going to put a series of numbers in here based on our settings so the first thing we want to put in here is a product ID and of course you go to the your product listing to get that product ID so make sure it's a digital product and we'll put in that number in there and fancy display number that has to do with the uh, the look and feel of the actual um, product on the website so we could, there's um, 13 different options that we can choose from and they're all listed on this page here the but you could just try different ones um, they all look really good and you can change them afterwards um, within the short code so I'm gonna go with six this one and the permitted membership level ID so this is just a series like a, and a list of membership levels separated by I by dash membership level IDs and then you separate them by the hyphen or the dash character and you get those you go to WPE member and then membership level and then you'll see a list of the level IDs right here so we only want to give this product access to premium users so I'm going to put in a 2 in there Okay, and then the button that we want to show for non-permitted users. So do we want to show an add to cart button or a buy now button? I'm just going to choose add to cart. And then we're going to choose a download button for permitted users. So that's why I got number four in there. Let's generate the short code. Okay, and here's the short code that we can put onto a post or a page. And this style number right here, that's where we can change the look. If we don't like the look, we can just modify this number after it's in our post, and then, then we won't have to regenerate this short code. Okay, so we'll go to a post here. I'll update that. And we'll view it on the website. All right, there it is. So we have, this is for a non um, logged in user or somebody without the proper amount of privileges this is what they'll see they have the option to purchase this mp3 now if the user is logged in which the difference when somebody's logged in okay I'm logged in now I'm going to refresh this page here and then we'll see now that it switches to a download button because I'm logged in I'm I'm a registered user with premium access alright that's it again this is Keith from tips and tricks HQ thanks for watching